What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilburn Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife. Indeed. And we're back with another fantastic reaction video. Y'all been on a roll this morning. I don't know what y'all woke up, what side of bed y'all woke up on this morning, but the two videos that y'all sent before this. It's Monday. Y'all could have gave us this on crazy. Wednesdays. Crazy. Like... But now we're leaning towards the funny stuff again yes. and getting out the, the deep cuts. Richard Pryor, baby. I give it me a freaking hot It's crazy because I know so much about Richard Pryor. Well, I don't. Richard Pryor. From Harlem Nights, one of my favorite movies. Which one's Richard Pryor? Richard Pryor is the one that ran the club in the Harlem Nights. The one with the gray hair? The old man? No. Not that one? Which one? Well, the one that took in Eddie Murphy. Oh, the one with that little afro. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I know about Richard Pryor. I never watched any of his stand-ups, though, but I do know he's hilarious. I have watched a lot of his, uh, like, interviews. Was he in a show? Did he have a show or something, or no? Mm, he had movies. I don't mm -hmm. know if he had a show, but I do know he had movies. Um, I have seen, like, his interviews, like, where he do interviews, and he's, like, crazy. They say, like, he was, like, coked out, or, like, but he always went to his interviews, like, hi. Oh. Um, but he was like crazy. Um, but I've seen that, but I've never seen like none of his stand up. So I'm, I'm excited to actually dive into this today because I really want to see him on stage. So we're going into the African jungle. And when I take this man that had no filter that I heard, he ain't got no filter. Oh my gosh. There's no filter today, I guess. Go, go out like I went to the jungle, the real jungle. Not that shit Tarzan live in. Tarzan hood? wouldn't last a week in Africa. Crazy. <laughs> Where's Tarzan? You mean the crazy white man? He in the trees with cheetah. <laughs> so where Jane? She horned in Nairobi. Cause when you go <laughs> out in Nairobi? the bush, you see animals. I, I mean, animals that are free look different than that shit we see in the zoo. <laughs> you know them animals you fuck over at the zoo? Cause you see the lion at the zoo, you be talking about. He ain't even know why he there, he's walking around. Lord. Right, you walk by, hey lion, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I like the monkeys in the zoo because they throw their shit on me. Ew. You know, oh, they be there. picking and shit, and they watch you, and the mother go. And then everybody laugh, go, oh, he's so cute. Oh, the monkey's cute. <laughs> Why do people think bears are happy in the zoo? Like, look at the bear, he's so happy. The mother goes, I'm not letting me out. <laughs> Just give me a break. <laughs> I could get a hand on one of you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. What's up? I ain't had no pussy in the club. Yeah! <laughs> Send me a motherfucking panda. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ain't even got a pussy yet. He's like, <laughs> wondering why we ain't got no babies. But in the jungle, if you see a rabbit, you get nervous. Because the rabbit be looking at you and I'm like, Roll the window up, dear. <laughs> it's just a rabbit. Fuck you. <laughs> Ain't no rabbit ever looked at me like that. Ain't <laughs> you looking serious? And you see rabbit. a lion in the jungle. That's what they look like. Lions. Motherfucker be in the bush somewhere. Try to tear you up. I'm cool. Yeah, get your ass out the car. <laughs> <laughs> and bring that camera with you. <laughs> Cause we're gonna eat all that shit. <laughs> I saw three lions chase down like a, a, a Cape buffalo. That's the baddest motherfucker on four legs, except for these bitches chasing it. <laughs> and the lioness, they work, in, they work around like in teams, give signals, you know they can't talk. <laughs> and the buffalo saw one of them, right? And he tipped away from the rest of the herd. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> And that oh, dude like almost jumped that. on its ass. <laughs> and the other buffalo said, hey, motherfucker didn't warn us, fuck it. <laughs> and you know how the uh, buzzards circle in the movies? These motherfuckers drove up in a truck. <laughs> Talking about what it is. <laughs> Cheetah, man, is the weirdest thing to see go chase something because you don't see nothing but dust. <laughs> I saw two cheetah and it looked like they were talking about jumping on some gazelle. There you go. You want to go after that herd? <laughs> Say, nah, man, they too close, shit. <laughs> Why don't we give them another hundred yards? <laughs> How's the wife and family, man? Man, they're trying to make it worth it. You know, it's going to be tourist season soon. I got an arm last year. <laughs> an arm? They're about far enough. You ready? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, they like a challenge. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything like for real. And 
eating the shit that, like the gazelles and shit. Hear them motherfuckers. They don't. They be eating and hear them just start running. They don't even look. Run! <laughs> and the motherfucker that can't hear is in trouble. What? <laughs> Cheetah! Huh? Cheetah! What? <laughs> Cheetah! What you say? It's your ass! <laughs> I got you! I saw a ch uh, one of them gazelles though make a move on a cheetah. It was embarrassing. The, the cheetah got pissed off too, because he's ready to get the gazelle. The gazelle said, <laughs> and that motherfucker fell 400 yards trying to stop and got up. I'm gonna get you, motherfucker. <laughs> make me look bad. Oh, it reminds me. This stand up reminds me of that one video that you seen when the dad or the grandpa was getting attacked. Remember? Oh yeah. That's what he reminded me of. For real, that's that's literally what he reminded me of. That's crazy. Would you do that? What? Would you go on the no, trips I don't, to no. where like they're right in front of you? Man, like I don't play with danger. That's one thing I don't do. Y'all not about to get me out here. So look, you wouldn't go to the safari? Look, okay. and like let, let like you know the cars when they're let me like, break something down. To you? It's the saying my mom used to always tell me. She oh, tell me till this day. Let me tell you how it works. You know why people like look look. She always tell me God gave us common sense too. You know, how really? people say, you know how people say they say have faith? I, I got faith, but they take my mom always said, God gave you common sense too. Some people take their faith a little that. bit too far. And that is one. First of all, these Jeeps ain't got no cages around it. We are in Jeeps. Some of them. <laughs> these are animals them. are looking at us as, and I'm dark. You <laughs> might say dark meat. I ain't seen no dark meat like Stop. that. It ain't going to be my day. I'm not going out there. Y'all better, look, I don't, if it's a wild, they say wild for a reason. Wild animals, right? When you go to a wild water park, it say wild in the name. It says it for a reason. Yeah. Because the water slides are probably crazy. Tsunamis or something dropping you down a chute 300 feet. It's wild for a reason. Anything, have you ever had anything with wild in it that ain't wild? Exactly my point. Mm -hmm. Put wild in front of anything. Well, I mean. It don't belong. You don't belong around it. It's wild. Animals, so you would, would man, you, would you, cool okay, but what if like you go, like, would you like, uh, how people go to like the, the little places where you could like hold baby tigers and stuff? No! Why? No, look, it is why. It's a baby tiger. And then y'all got the nerve to want to add freak accident in front of it. Y'all kill me with that. Like oh. somebody had died from getting their face ripped off by some monkeys. Freak accident happened today. 10 monkeys attacked a person. It's not a freak accident. Leave them alone. They are wild animals for a reason. Leave these well, animals alone. If it, we haven't been if to it's the a zoo, so wild I don't know. lion, you should not be in a cage with it. I've wild been wanting tigers. to go to the zoo, but I don't know. We haven't been to the zoo. Leave them years. animals alone. See, that's the problem with it. And then they say freak accident. He was stabbed in the neck by a jellyfish. Wilburn, a jellyfish can't stab exactly you. Exactly my point. But you just never know. It's creatures oh out there. Oh my name. gosh. He was zapped in the neck by a jellyfish. But he they was sting you. Zap, sting, it don't matter. But where was he swimming at? In a f infested waters of jellyfish? <laughs> it was a freak accident. Okay, we get it. So for a future artist, this child will not be doing nothing like that. Like, yeah, you know my movie. You know my movie. Where I'm heading. What? What's my movie? Where you get hit by the shark. Jaws? No. Where he get cut and he said, leave him in the water. Oh, the couple, a couple's retreat. Now. Shark infested waters. He went out there, he got cut. That could have been his life. I'm not playing with it. You're not going to tell me, oh, it's sharks that be in this water, but you're safe to go down there. No, I'm not. I'm they're, not. Well, they were feeding him. Then I get my arm bit off, then I got to explain to people what happened. Oh, you know, they said it was shark infested waters, but I still got in. Stop it. No, I'm not going. Don't give me oh, on there. No. It's just I mean, my luck. The... I won't do it, but I'm just saying, you know, with people that like to do like, you got me messed up if you think I'm going to go in the ocean in a cage. Where there's sharks circling you. The I'm way, not doing that. The way my luck is set up in life, I'm, uh, that person. I'm that person. Getting chopped up or something. The way your luck is set yeah. up in life? Like, I don't got good luck with stuff like that. I've, I mess around gets... Look, I got stabbed by a crab, a crab leg. No, you didn't. Say that. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. I got stabbed I'm in the foot by done. a crab leg. How many no, people can see that? That's my luck. That is my luck. How many people on this channel can no, go and say they've been stabbed in the leg by a crab leg? Oh, my goodness. Nobody. Exactly. So why would I want to go around some animals like that? If I'm getting stabbed in the foot by crab legs, who knows what a lion could do to me? Who knows what a, a gazelle? I'm dead. I'm dead. Gazelles don't even hurt people. I just might get stabbed by the freaking horns. You just never know. I'm dead. Nice I'm elephant, dead. just bam, and now I got a freak accident because I didn't got hit by the tusk. You mean the trunk? 
You just never know. My luck is not. No, I'm not. Are you guys down to go do stuff like that? Leave it in the comments and let us know. Because obviously somebody over here just. Nope. Not me. Getting stabbed in the foot you by crab know. legs. I you, just, the fuck that I just, you, just, you just never know. You ain't never been stabbed. That's why. You never understand. Let us know, guys. D won't get it. She ain't been stabbed by no crabs. I got stabbed. Could have got hepatitis or something. Boy, 